So this is a follow-up to my previous video about the issue I was having with Boolean operations in FreeCAD. So I've made a minor tweak here. Um, so previously I had the drain positioned centrally um, by putting a placement offset in here to bring it up in the z-axis such that it's at center of the body part. Um, but instead of doing that, I set mid-plane to true. So that meant that when it extrudes the sketch into 3D, it expands it equally from the top and bottom. So if we turn that sketch on, we can see that it's sitting at the midpoint. So it goes up and down, so I don't need that offset. And I thought, ah, oh, maybe that's it, because I did remember reading something in the docs about um, having to be careful with offsets. But then I went through the same process, so body is active, billion, op, add body, that one, select cut, okay, nothing, okay, now it's to be expected. So then I thought, hmm, I noticed that when I've got this body selected and the drain selected, there's this, there's a bit of Z fighting, um, because the, oops, I'm still not accustomed to this manipulation. See how there's sort of this weird sort of broken shape here? So that happens when there's, when a computer is being told to render two surfaces exactly on top of each other. And anything can affect which surface actually gets drawn. Um, like float rounding errors, see how it goes all crazy. And so coincident faces like that are really hard for a lot of different software packages to handle. Like this one's failing to render it properly. Um, because, you know, there's no, they're exactly at the same distance from the camera. It doesn't know which one to draw. Um, so I thought maybe that's causing problems. So I added an offset uh, in the Z. Z? No, I want Y. So I added a small offset in Y. Except it's... To, to disambiguate, disambiguate? Make it unambiguous which face um, should be outside and inside. Um, I did a whole process again, and Bob's your uncle. It did what it's supposed to do. Actually, no, it didn't. It kind of did. It's obviously done something. Let's, um... Go to wireframe. Yeah, so it's carved out the internal stuff um, because those faces are now no longer coincident. Um, so I think the issue 10 micrometers, cool, does automatic unit malarkey. If I change that to negative 10 micro, then it will pop out of the face. And if I go back to normal draw style. And then do that operation again. So active body, add body, cut, OK. So that's what I want. Happy days. So it looks like FreeCAD Boolean operations in the part design workbench don't work if you are subtracting shapes with coincident faces. That's going to be useful to someone. Bye-bye.